All right, we just rode a bus from Medway to Bangor, Maine. All right, walk in seven tenths of a mile to go get the rental car. This is what we're excited about. Chick-fil-A in Bangor, Maine. All right, we have rented a car in Bangor, Maine and are driving to Lebanon, New Hampshire. We're staying in a hotel tonight. It's a six hour drive to zero day. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So we'll get back on the trail tomorrow. We're going to hike this 45 mile section that we skipped. Uh, we're going to hike it southbound to Rutland, Vermont. And then we're still working on how we get from Rutland back to High Point State Park, New Jersey. We're already Without walking. We're yes. Already <laughs> we've already walked that. We're we, already back. We are in New Hampshire. Briefly. Yes. yes. Briefly, yes. Briefly. All right. So here's our zero day activities. We're making lists. I've actually been working on trying to find rental car versus train versus shuttle. Yeah, for probably five hours. Hitchhiking. We could ever, hitchhike. Ever been for himself. <laughs> Oh, we ate Chick-fil-A for lunch. Oh, that was, yeah, definitely the highlight of this. That was the highlight. Yeah, we went back for more. Sweet tea. Mm -hmm. That was great. Walking back to the AT now, we're off the bus. We rode the red line, then the green line. Now we walk about 10 minutes. All right, we're back at Dan and Whit's General Store in Norwich, Vermont. We were last here on July 14th. Oh, July 14th. Wow, when we started here going north. Went from here north. Yeah, so that was quite a little travel we did in three days. We were on the summit of Katahdin two days ago. Yeah. So that was a shuttle, shuttle, public bus, bus rental, rental car, car, a walk, a local bus, and another walk. And here we are two days later. All right. Yeah. Norwich, Vermont. Now we're going southbound for 45 miles and then we will get a shuttle to New Jersey. It is wide. It is not flat, but it is pleasant to walk on. Mm -hmm. There are leaves in the trees again. Our, our friend, the stone wall is back. Uh, there is a soft footbed. It's been threatening rain all day. We, we hold up it. Happy Hill shelter for a little while and ate some lunch to stay out of the rain, but we just decided to walk on a little bit. So we've got plenty of time to hike our miles before Saturday morning. We've got uh, probably about 40 more to do, and it's only Tuesday at like 4.15. So we're just enjoying the new trail. The rain probably brought them out. All right, y'all just all got so excited. Oh, we're back in Vermont, and there are red Fs here. It's been a long time. It's so cute. We love them. Oh my goodness. Yes. And we had a great day back in Vermont. Yes. The trail was awesome. Mm -hmm. I, it, I mean, it was. It was. There were ups and downs. It was not like Northern Maine, where there's not many. Actually, there's not many hills, but the trail bed was so nice. Yeah, pine needles and oh yeah, yeah, just easy to walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pine needles were nice. It's nice to be. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Walking out of the woods from where we camped, crossing under Interstate 89. West Hartford Village Meeting House, circa 1832. All right, we're leaving Miss Linda's 
house. We got some coffee, cooked our breakfast, threw away trash, crossing over the White River. We have a little bit of a road walk. And goodbye to Miss Linda's. Okay, so we came across this rope system in the trees here. It's odd. There's one behind us, and we could not figure out what's going on here. We thought it was some kind of like summer camp adventure course. But I think what it is is a maple syrup factory. I don't know. So they're all so, maple trees. So this hose right here would get hooked up to a tap in the tree, and then it drains that sap down into the main pipe. That black. And that one. pipe like runs way down into the valley here and off all the maple trees up in the hills there's this same piping system so the guy at the bottom of the hill gets a gets a wave of maple sap in the fall and winter just down in his barrel down there that's so cool yeah. i think that is cool yeah they put the they put the main pipe in the gully and then all the maple trees have little pipes going down so it's just all like channeling it's a river of maple syrup. Fish is walking backwards. Check out the trail. Okay, you know what? What? I think there's a river here. It's like a big wall on one side and a small wall on the other side. We've been walking down this old road. It's got to be 150, 200 years old. And it's got this six foot stacked stone wall on the left hand side of the road. And it goes on like this. I mean, we've been walking it for half a mile now. Wall on the left, and then at times there's another wall on the right. We got some high humidity today, and it's been threatening rain. It's forest is kind of dark here. But a cool breeze is rolling in, maybe a portent of precipitation to come. We'll, we'll see. We are walking to a country store. We uh, are stealth camping about 0.4 miles from this road. So we were just gonna walk down here then walk to the store. It's about a mile. We're not getting a hitch. Maybe on the way back we will but we might get some drinks, ice cream, snacks. Maybe. I think we see it up here. Yeah, I think it's it right there. We it's hope got it is. Open flag. Pretty sunny out here. We're having mashed potatoes again with bacon bits. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese. And you know we packed out about the shredded cheese too. Oh, that's right. It, it's good. We haven't had mashed potatoes in a while. No. This might be our second time, wow. I know. It's like one every 50, 45 days, right? No, mm -hmm. 35, yeah, that's average. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me about your dinner. This is what is known amongst AT hikers as the ramen bomb. We have mashed potatoes, ramen, that's the basic. And then we've got bacon bits, some shredded cheese. I added some oil. Uh, olive oil, flakes. red pepper flakes, and half of the ramen beef packet to it. It's a lot of different textures and flavors. You've got the like the squishy mashed potatoes and uh -huh. the ramen, like that's like mm. sort and of like I chewy. Have, and then I have like the other the half. bacon bits. It's good. It's a lot of different textures and flavors that hit you all at once. It's a bomb. Alright, here's our campsite for tonight. Just camping in the woods.
three is better than two. All right, right let's see what everyone's having for lunch. Yeah, her responsible now. Smearing peanut butter in his tortillas. Fish is having Nutella and hey, tortillas. Nutella and tortillas. I'm just smearing peanut butter on this tortilla. Mm -hmm. What? what? I have yeah, pulled pork in a tortilla. No. Hot day. We saw, we heard this word machine, and we didn't know what it was, and now we're seeing it. Hold on, where'd it go? Like, yeah, it's like a huge... It's like making a road. Excavator. It's like, I don't know, like the lumber company? I admit they've got its name. Knocking down trees, like, yeah, it's, near us. It's knocking down trees. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, so now we're just walking on the trail, and we came to where it's cleared. Yeah, I think it's making a road. A road across the trail. This seems kind of weird. And here's even more. This is the second clearing we've crossed on the trail. Here he comes. up to rain this morning. We camped next to Stony Brook last night. We found some little apples. They're everywhere. All over the ground. <laughs> okay, here we are at Gifford State Park. It is about to open up a crazy it's thunderstorm. Crazy. It's all red and different shades of purple on the radar. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're here in this pavilion. It's a pretty sweet little pavilion that let us stay in. Oh yeah. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy the show here. Okay, here we are. We have waited out the rain and the thunder. We're trying. Uh, it's, I walk, it's not. I walked up to the deli, seven tenths of a mile. It is a hopping spot. And bought a bunch of sandwiches, chips, salsa, broccoli salad. And we're just enjoying it here. We have 3.1 miles to hike in the morning. And so we may just stay at different state park tonight. We are so glad to be in this little lean-to at Giffer Woods State Park. It's pretty bougie. It's raining. And it's rained on and off and the sky is beautiful. I know you can't really tell, but... It's day 89. We are at Gifford Woods State Park. We got a lean to, it was great. And uh, we're headed today to Route 4. Uh, we're gonna get a sh shuttle picked up in about two hours. It's three miles. Uh, so that should be pretty easy. And uh, we'll head there right now. Yeah, finishing up our northern, our Nobo part. Oh, we said last night. <clears throat> Summer's fun, but summer is over. Like, now we've got to get down to business. So we're gonna enjoy the zero today. Well, it's a Nero today. And then we're gonna, we're gonna hike tomorrow. Like mad men and woman. All right, here we are. At Route 4, this is where, <laughs> this is where Grandpa picked us up over there on July 13th. 
and boosted us 45 miles north. And we came back and filled in the 45 miles. And we are done with our northern section. <laughs> Woo! Hudson, our shuttle driver, drove us from Rutland, Vermont to Port Jervis, New York, where we stayed at Mosey's place for the night.